Finally got the right uh, picture. Okay. Hello, everyone. Hello. What's everybody up to today? Where are you watching from? Hey, Sally. Hello, hello. So uh, those of you who are just tuning in for the very first time, I am Hanya Hanyelas. And, and I'm Amber of Sweet Ams. And this and is usually the cookie lunch break, but today it's the strawberry lunch break. Yes, strawberry <laughs> lunch break. We are usually um, joined by Marlene, but now we are brought Marlene of Montreal Confections. So we are, um, we are three cookie decorators and we um, um, are rotating um, every week on Tuesdays. So I think next week it's, uh, is it me and you again or is it Mar? I think it's you and Mar, yeah. I have yeah, to check. I'm going to be with, on with Marlin next week. But today, Amber is here, and she's going to put her decorating skills to a great test. What are you yeah. going to do today for us? So today, let me bring up my little picture. Um, Chocolate-covered strawberries. This was a suggestion from one of my subscribers, Wendy. So thank you to Wendy for uh, suggesting something a little different. Um, so if you guys are doing any Valentine's Day uh, gift sets. You might want to add these in there with your cookies and whatever else you're offering. Um, so, you know, I usually work with Royal Icing and working with chocolate is very different. I find it pretty difficult to do, um, but I made it work. So let me show you, I'm going to bring in this. Um, let my me just quickly, here. while we're doing that, um, say hello to a few people. Hi, Philip. Hello. Hi, Sally. Thanks for being here. Jackie, South Texas. What's the weather like, guys, for you? Hello, Utah, Cincinnati. Hi, Rebecca. Hi, Camille. Oh, hi. Hello, everybody. Hello. Hi, Byron, Mickey. Hello, everyone. Thanks for being here. And now I'm going to give it to, oh, wow, what, what's this? I haven't used this chocolate before. Okay, so I was in Michael's um, the other day trying to get all my supplies for this. And this brand is called Sweet Tooth Fairy. So normally I was just using the Wilton brand melting chocolate, which is, I've always used that, love it, but couldn't find it in Michael's. So I bought this Sweet Tooth Fairy brand. I and think we said last week we talked about that I think Michaels is um, getting rid of Wilton stuff. We couldn't find any Wilton stuff. I was I didn't I don't know what's going on, but I was like, where is the Wilton stuff? 
Hello, everyone. Yes, I think that's what's happening. You can also actually in the grocery store, they often have, um, I hope I'm going to pronounce it correctly. Is it Ghirardelli? Yes. That, yeah. that I also like, like, like dipping chocolate. Yeah, dipping chocolate. I also like their, their, um, um, their chocolate as well. Yeah. So, Maybe. yeah, Wilton. Okay. Wilton has gone from Michael's. Yeah, I don't know why. Like, <laughs> but okay. Like anyway, this, yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you like working with this chocolate? I loved it. This stuff is so forgiving. Like, it's not really like, you know, it's not like chocolate where you have to temper it. And yeah, it's uh, compound chocolate, right? It, it's, yeah. it's compound chocolate. It's so easy to use. You just melt it and yeah. keep it warm. And it's like, it sets up so fast. It's shiny, like it's, 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 I got it a little bit too hot. So I did have some streaks in my dark, okay. chocolate, but you know what? Just cover it up with some luster dust and it's going to know. So I really enjoyed working with this because it was very easy to use for, for chocolate. You know, and how much was it? Did you, so you said you found it in my course? Was it expensive? Um, it, I don't remember. Okay. <laughs> We are doing only Tuesdays now, so we are we. Are, it, it actually, I have to say, it was a little too much for us to keep doing Tuesday and Fridays because it takes um, a couple of days for us to actually prepare, right? So these to just just to prepare the what we are going to work on. So it was a, a bit too um, demanding. So we are sticking to Tuesdays, making sure we are bringing you fresh, fresh content for yes. our lives. Um, okay, so then for piping with chocolate, I like to use parchment bags. I don't, I really have a good reason for it, I guess, because I'm like nervous that if I put it in the microwave, it's going to melt. So I just use parchment bags. So do you make these yourself? Can you uh, back up a little bit? Let me see how far I can. Okay, excellent. Excellent. This is so there we go. Thank you. So did so you cut the did you cut the triangles? Yes. So I've got my parchment oh. triangle here. Really? You are so brave. I I um uh, I just bought them. I just bought triangles. I still Oh yeah, them. you can buy triangles. That's fine too. So I mean it's kind of you'd have to like roll them, roll one corner to the middle point. Roll the other side around and have it meet up in the middle point. And then these little pieces, you just move them back and forth and then you can like adjust the opening. Mm -hmm. So you pull them tight or you loosen it. So I like to start tight and then cut it as I need it, you know? And then you can just fold this in. I like to use these pepper chicken bags also. So for I wouldn't use it for royal icing because it would dry out very quickly, but I do use it for um, chocolate because you can just pop this in yeah. the microwave when it gets when it was very fast. It was very quick what you did. So yes, in, is it Inge? Inge? Yes, the recording of each live is available. Um, I don't know if it's available right after we are done. It takes a bit of time for the for the each platform to process it. We are streaming to YouTube and Facebook. So I believe you're watching on YouTube. So you can find um, all the lives that we, we did in the past in a tab on each of our channels, Haniela, Sweden, and Montreal Confections. There's a tab that says live. If you click on that tab, it will, new screen will come up and it will show you all the lives from the past two and a half years. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you will be able to watch watch it as replay. We've been doing it a while. Um. So anyway, working with chocolate, like I said, is kind of difficult. Um. The thing that I find the most difficult is that it sets up fast. So if you have your little bag sitting here, it's gonna get like you won't be able to squeeze it out because it's gonna set up in the bag. So you have to keep warming it up. So what I did is I just kept my oven on the lowest setting which was 135 Fahrenheit. And that it's a little bit too hot for this, but like it did keep it warm. I was able to use it. So I would just pop this into the oven for a couple mm -hmm. minutes just to, you know, melt it a little bit. Um, so that's what I did. You can also, if you have like a, some kind of a warming plate, 
You yeah, you could also, you know, I'm thinking if you could heat up a, a baking sheet and and uh, use that. Um, yeah, I honestly, I just used piping bags, and I I haven't had issue microwaving it for like five seconds, and then yeah, like squeezing it a little bit. Yeah, just a little bit and that's good to know. Do I understand your concern? Because you know, yeah. What if it melts? Yeah, that's that's not ideal. All right, so. Since this is, you know, it's difficult to work with, I mm -hmm. am going to show you some little video clips that I made. And um, how, where did we go? And how do I get us? There we go. Wait. Sorry, guys. We are we're trying a new feature. We are using StreamYard to um, stream to YouTube and Facebook. And so playing a new feature here and just I'm just, just going to say hello to everyone. So Kim, yes, you, we are only doing Tuesday, but you can also sign up for my newsletter. I'm going to put a link in, um, in the comments and newsletter, cookie decorating newsletter. Oh, here we go. And you All can right. get reminders for the lives through the newsletter. I sent them out on Tuesdays, every Tuesday before awesome. the live. So yes, let's go. I'm excited. Okay. Yes. All right, pouring it into a little microwave safe dish. And then I just microwave that on like low power, you know, for like 30 seconds at a time, mix it up. And then you can just dip your strawberries in the melted chocolate. I kind of did it like, you know, side to side to get everything covered. The strawberries I used weren't that great, I feel like, you know, like they didn't have a stem. They're just whatever I found in the grocery mm -hmm. store. So if you can find better strawberries than yeah then did, you, did you let them um come to room temperature before dipping oh yes yeah. so i washed them let them dry completely at room temperature and because you know if you put a cold strawberry in here your chocolate's gonna harden up very quickly so that's a good good point han i don't think it's gonna stick to to the strawberry actually because strawberry like if you notice the skin is pretty slick so yeah um, if and um, yeah, there's gonna be probably a gap between and they won't stick, or maybe the juices will. Mm -hmm. Oh, you use a toothpick, that's, so that's, that's a good idea. Mm -hmm. And then, so then I just put them on a parchment paper baking lined baking sheet. And when I put them down, I kind of like slide it forward a little bit so that the foot doesn't form in the front, you know, just make it look a little bit nicer. And then here's the white chocolate. Um, so this one I did, no, this one I did fully, but some of them I did where like to make the tuxedo where you just do it partially, you know, which I'll show you coming up. So you use a boiler and the warm way. Yes, exactly. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. That's so what I, the other, that's yeah. What, and that's what I, I do mm -hmm. also. You can yeah. have the, like, um, you can bring the water to boil and it will keep warm pretty for a pretty long time and just yeah. have your boiled chocolate on there. Um, I just wanted to mention that when I'm dipping these, to get rid of the excess, I touch the strawberry to the chocolate to kind of like pull the excess off instead of just like drizzling it from above. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I yes, like, I understand. You like so yeah. I'm like us. Yes. Mm -hmm. So that helps get rid of a lot of the excess chocolate. Oh, okay, Sarah, I washed mine with vinegar and oh, I'm sorry, Sharon. Sorry, my eyesight. Um, with water, vinegar and water, let them dry. Do you find that they last longer? Because I've tried it with my blueberries. I soak them. I read that online that you suppose like it like prolongs the life of berries, and I did that, and they did last for a very long time with blueberries. It's mm. like solution, I think it was like a one to three ratio water to vinegar or something. It did work, but I don't know if like do you find that then strawberries last longer, Sharon? Can you share your um, experience thank you so this one is the one i was talking about where i did dipped it on one side and then the other side so then so this one i think i was going to make like a dress kind of a wedding dress type uh -huh. thing so then you've got like this v-neck pattern with the chocolate mm -hmm. that's very pretty very popular also right yeah so this yeah. one next to the this little first time dipping dipping strawberries is this my first time? Mm -hmm. Um, probably not. I don't really like remember doing it in the past, but I, 
can't imagine that I've never done it before. Okay, so this is the tuxedo. So I did a layer of white and then you go in with the dark on the two sides and then and the back too. Yeah, tuxedo dip. Tuxedo dip, yes. <laughs> And then oh, the Sylvia, yes. Also, you can also use Merkin's chocolate. Yes, Merkin's is also a What is chocolate. that? Merkin's chocolate is another brand that makes um, dipping chocolate. Uh, oh, okay. Well, chocolate. They also have, they come in a wide range of colors. They mm -hmm. I think that I'm still here. There are so many different brands out there that you know, yeah. if you can find certain brand, maybe you look for a different brand. And also what, what, the, what the, can... Uh, um, different from brand to brand is the liquidity of it. Mm -hmm. it some char like I hear I worked with some chocolate locally that was so it melted it was very runny almost like water so I had to let it sit for a little bit to yeah. make sure that it's big enough. So now you're putting your chocolate into the um, yes this little parchment bag that I showed you <laughs> earlier just filling that up because I'm going to pipe some details with that. Um, and when you close your parchment bag, you want to make sure that the seam, you're folding away from the seam when you close this up. So I've got the seam on the bottom, and then I'm folding up the bag. And you can tape it shut, too, if you want to, but I just kind of held it shut as I was piping. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Sharon, was thank you for, for answering. So this is in regards to the vinegar water. Mm -hmm. So... Um, I do find they do. I also feel like it's more sanitary. sanitary. Thank you. All right. Tuxedo strawberry. So I'm just piping a, a lapel. Is that what it is? Please let us know what this is called. <laughs> <laughs> did, you, did you look up like tuxedo? I always know. It's, yeah. You're going to laugh because for everything that I don't know, like the, the little part, whatever, I put in, let's say, I, I would put tuxedo anatomy. <laughs> I know, like, it comes yeah. up, you know, you use the word anatomy and it will yeah. come up. I, yeah, it will come up. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you. Me. Okay. Finally, some, somebody understands me. Yes, it's okay. It's. Uh, I know, I'm always like Googling like parts of things. Like what is, like I did a shoe cookie and I'm like, what is this part that, you put the lace through, like what I'm is that? You shoe anatomy. You put it in, it'll, it'll <laughs> get a shoe. Okay. <laughs> I, I think I actually did learn about shoe anatomy, shoe anatomy when I was doing my sneaker cake. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is so cute. I love it. So I have a question. So I can see my internet connection is not good, of course. Mm -hmm. Can you see the video okay still? Yeah, I can see. Yeah, I, uh, let's ask the folks. Are you guys, uh, can you guys see the video okay? Is it, um, are you able to, oh, now the swirls, I was waiting for yeah, these. Yeah, so this, I, d I had to do filigree on the strawberries, and it was, oh. it's hard enough in royal icing, but, you know. To, yes, it's, it's fine. Yes, yeah. the video is fine. Okay. It's a little, some, yeah, some, for some it's a little blurry, but. Uh, there's not much we can do about that at this point. Thank you for preparing these. <laughs> no problem. So Byron, um, okay, if I eat, okay, Byron, if I eat strawberries, would I be doing frog crafts? I, 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 I is, that, is this something I should, is this for my book? I have not <laughs> heard of this. I don't know if that's I don't know. Or... Are you referring to a book or something? I don't know. If you, yeah, I have no idea. Sorry. This is so beautiful. Was this difficult? Did you find this difficult? You usually do a flat surface, flat cookie? It was, yeah, doing it and then getting on the sides. Like, this is why I don't decorate cakes because you have to get out all, all these like weird angles, you know? You're doing amazing. I mean, it's a small, small strawberry. You do, I think you're doing really great. And it's chocolate, it's completely different medium. Too. Yeah. But I mean, this chocolate, the Sweet Tooth Fairy brand, it was easier to work with than okay than you were using like real you know chocolate chocolate so we have christy thank you it's a shoelace haul thank you for that <laughs> remember that for the next time it's a but so the name is an ag aglet i think it's a name no i think not. it's a oh is it aglet <laughs> Okay, okay, you lost me, Christy. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so here, let me show you what I'm doing here. I made these little dots, didn't like them, 
So I just scraped them off. That's all you have to do if you don't mm -hmm. like it. Just get rid of it and you can start. And for that, you're using your decorating tool. I see you using Yeah, my two-in-one tool. And then just, I did another type of bead border, my usual, you know. It's so uh, funny that you're completely replicating your, like, cookie decorating. Even yeah. though <laughs> the border is with the chocolate, it's got to be beaded border. There's I guess that's the most elegant strawberry I've ever seen, right? <laughs> this is the dress. Oh, stencil, I know. But what, what, the, what the edging does, it makes it really like a nice finish. It cleans mm -hmm. up the edge and makes it more elegant. Yes. Oh, okay. So it's what? Islet is the whole, uh, shoelace hole. Thank you. Or is it pronounced eyelet? Or is it eyelet? Well, like maybe it's eyelet. It's not, it's, okay. <laughs> Are we it's, pronouncing it? I'm just going to call it a hole of a shoe. <laughs> um, wow, Angie. You made oh. 200 chocolate covered strawberries around Easter? Wow. Do you need my address? <laughs> um, Mary Lou, I'm using Sweet Tooth Fairy brand chocolate discs. So they're like, it's basically just like melt coating chocolate. Very easy to use, very forgiving. Loved it. Oh, so it is eyelet. Islet, okay. Also, it's like an islet, like an islet we like on cookies. Yeah. Right? I love that on, on dresses as well. Hello, Jeremy. Oh, Susan, it reminds you of decorated Easter egg. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And another one? What's What did I do here? I don't even remember. Oh, very, okay. So if you don't want to do all that, just a little simple drizzle back and forth is also a very nice, elegant look on a strawberry. So that's a really simple way to go if you don't want to go through all that trouble of the filigree. You you froze for a little bit. Oh. Were you trying to? I no, I was just saying it's a that little drip. Did you see the drizzle part? Mm -hmm. mm. Let's go back. Let's go back. We are experimenting with new feature, guys. There's often, always something interesting happening during the live. Can you see this now? I don't know what everybody else is seeing, but I'm just I'm seeing your previous screen with the with the dress. Mm. With the oh with no! The, All right. Well, <laughs> since okay. we're having issues, do you want to take our okay. little? I'm just gonna go ahead um, and. Um, since Amber today showed us how to uh, use her decorating skills uh, using a different medium than cookies, so I want to guys uh, tell you about my blog. I have a blog, hanielas.com. I also share um, non-cookie related recipes. Now this is also um, this is um, these are hoopy pies, hoopy pies like little cakes, sponge cakes, strawberry hoopy pies. And as you see here, I use the um, my decorating skills to create a rose shape on a on a on the top. I love that so much. Oh, thank you. And also, <laughs> this is this I made 10, 12 years ago, maybe longer. So these are um, if th these are meant for 12, oh, 11 years almost. So uh, 12 uh, to 2012. So these are um, biscotti. And you know, you can even purchase your biscotti uh, already co already chocolate covered and just do maybe something uh, more personalized. You can pipe, like I hear this was for a bridal shower. You can do also um, maybe birthday or Valentine's that you can add the little hearts or maybe pipe I love you or something like that. It might be really cute. And I have a recipe for really nice biscotti on my blog. Also these, these are very popular. Valentine's Day s'mores. Who likes s'mores? Oh, I do. Yes, everything is homemade, <laughs> including the graham crackers, delicious recipe that you can also use 
to make these. Um, oh. What are these called? Sizzle sticks or swizzle sticks? Swizzle sticks? Yes. Uh, yeah. Yeah, these are also, it's a type of, I guess these are also s'mores, right? These are, it's a stick and I glued a heart on top of it and then I added some chocolate and micro marshmallows. So something to think about um, if you are in a, in a rush and you don't have time to decorate, you can use chocolate to decorate instead of royal icing and chocolate, you know, hardens pretty quickly. So you'll be done in no time. Yes. So these, these are uh, really fun to make little chocolate piñatas or... Um, what, what else would you call chocolate peanut, chocolate hard mm -hmm. peanuts? Yeah. So you can fill these with candies. I did use a mold, plastic mold to make these. And um, let me know if you'd like to see any of these next week during the live. Because um, I am going to be here on the 14th of February. We have a live on Valentine's Day. So that, I'm yeah. consider doing one of these or maybe doing these chocolate hearts. I'll see. But these are really fun to make. You just need a plastic mold for those. Mm. I, I think, think the, the molds would be a great. Oh, Angie wants to see some mores. S'mores? Okay, well, the s'more. Yeah, okay. Sorry, I gave you too many options. S'mores, <laughs> <laughs> I have to. I would have to make the marshmallows, and that might be um, uh, a little too much. Um, to do, but the s'mores you can. I have a recipe, full recipe is on the blog, including the marshmallows and graham crackers. You just need to get to hanyelas.com and you can search for graham crackers and Valentine's treats. Awesome, piñata. Okay, Nancy would like to see the piñata. Mm. I would like to see you do the cookie with the rose in the middle, how you fold it and put it. The little whoopie pies? Is that what you're talking oh, about? Whoopie pies, yes. Those are really fun. Yeah, I might show those also. Yeah, I'll show you maybe a few things. Something quick because on, on the 14th, we can't really, um, yeah, I want to make sure that I show you something you can do last minute. Yeah, you can do it that afternoon, have it done before the end of the day. Exactly. So are you, can you show us how you apply the luster dust? Yeah, let me just, before we um, go, I'm just gonna put a link to my cookie art club here. I know a lot of you are already members of this cookie art club. So that's where I have all my full length tutorials, um, recipes. You can share your cookie photos with me over there. So that's the, uh, that's, it's like Patreon. So we all have our page, you know, Mar and Han and I all have a Patreon. So it's very similar, but it's more like, it's easier for you to interact with me and with each other. So I really like that. And everything's very organized. All the videos, they're organized by category, which is very exciting for me. So let's try this again. Can you see that? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yes, we can see that. This is your um, beautiful- That was brand. the last one. And then, oh yeah, so some, you gotta pat down the little leaves sometimes. So this is what I was trying to show you earlier with the- Drizzle. Drizzle, so just very simple back and forth. This is such a timeless technique, isn't it? It's mm -hmm. like, you can't go wrong with this. So if you need a last, last minute um, Valentine's Day gifts, uh, chocolate covered strawberries are really easy to make. Yes, let me just show you. So, okay, so you saw that I have like gold strawberries. Let's just see how I did that because that's a lot of fun to do. So this is one that I did this morning. So these don't last very long is the other thing about these. So I made the ones that you're seeing now, I had to make them last week and I kept one just to test it. And it is, I don't even want to show you. It's like not good. <laughs> it doesn't look good. From last week, from last week. Last week, yeah. So um, how long would you say they last? I know, Angie, if you are still on a call, if you make 200, 250 of those every year, what's your experience? How long do these last from what, what did, like, if, do they last? Um, I guess they don't last a week. I would say two days. days? Mm -hmm. um, okay, so I'm using Sweet Sticks Luster Dust. I have so many colors mm -hmm. of this stuff. This is one is called 24 Karat Gold. I'm just taking a dry... Mm -hmm duster brush mm -hmm. just gonna get rid of the excess and then this chocolate has already set up it's totally dry that's a really big bottle you have there the container is full of dust 
Um, yeah, it's actually not very big. I don't know why it looks big on camera. It's it looks quite big. It's nice. This is a 10 milliliter container, it says. Oh, okay. It's pretty tiny. Okay, so I'm just gonna apply the dust on here. So the thing that's kind of strange about adding the dust is that they end up looking more silver than anything, I find, because you kind of lose the color and you're just left with like the luster. You know what I mean? Do you, what's the brand of the dust? This okay. is Sweet uh, Sticks. Sweet Sticks. But it still looks really cool to have like this super shiny finish on the chocolate. I don't know why that keeps happening. <clears throat> saying two to three days. They last for about two, two to three, three days. days. Yeah. So the one I have, I don't remember what day I made these last week. Maybe like Wednesday it was. I have to, did you send me the picture? I didn't. Did I will. Them? Oh, when I made them, I did. Yes. Uh, so isn't that neat? It's beautiful. I like how... It really transformed the strawberry. Yeah. So there's all kinds of fun stuff you can do. Okay, so also I have this really beautiful. Oh, what's that? This is a mold. It's a, I guess it's silicone, you know. Um, and it's got, I don't remember where I got it, but if you are looking for molds like this, you should check Etsy first to see, mm -hmm. like, look up, um, you know, flower silicone mold. They have so many beautiful options on Etsy. And then if, you know, if you can't find anything, maybe go to Amazon for that. Um, but this was, it was like surprisingly easy to use. The, it's so intricate. I don't know if you can see the details here in this flower. Yeah, we can, I think I can see all the petals. Yeah, it is quite detailed. So, it's just so that was just with the white chocolate that I was using earlier. And then you can paint, not paint, but dust these. So um, I think it was Angie, is this last dust, can you mix it with vodka? Yes, this is what I would normally use with vodka mm -hmm. when I'm painting, but you can also use it dry. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Susan, can you drizzle? Well, I think you can you you can do as many strawberries as oh for sure yeah do a bunch at a time get the whole get them all in the sheet tray and just do the whole tray. So this color is called pink gelato. This is also luster dust from Sweet Sticks. So this is a question for you. I don't know. Um... I'm from Caribbean, your online class, do you give a certificate when someone finishes the class? Um, I don't do, it's not like a class, it's just like every single tutorial that I have is on there. Um, so it's not really like a class class and I don't have a certificate. Um, but one day when I go back to Wilton, they give certificates when I teach. You know, when you're searching for molds, it, it is, this is important. Use the, make sure that you look for food safe molds. You can also make your own with um, Amazing Mold Putty, which is something that I've done a lot. I just use jewelry that I have and I make a mold out of Amazing Mold Putty. And that stuff is awesome. So now I'm just going to add a little bit of a darker pink. This color is called Magnolia. And I did put the sub list for this project on coffee and it's also in all the groups on patreon and in the cookie club so all the supplies that i used for these for the coffee, coffee coffee shop coffee shop is uh, it's coffee your coffee shop <laughs> yeah <laughs> who else is right i did red chocolate and put on gold luster dust nice yeah, I don't think I've seen red chocolate strawberries. That's that's a nice different Oh, shape. yeah, that must be really pretty. 
Sylvia, they have molds at Hobby Lobby. Yes, you guys can you can check out different different craft stores. They carry different molds. You can maybe find something there if you are um, in a rush and you don't have time to wait for the mailing. So this is our chocolate rose. And then, um, yeah, I'll just show you how I finish these off if I can figure this out again. There we go. Um, so this was another, this was like the other flower that is on that mold that I just showed you. It's like three little flowers with leaves. So I dusted those and just um, attached mm -hmm. a little chocolate. So adorable. So then you have like, you know, so these can go beyond Valentine's Day, you know, like use them for a wedding or a bridal shower or something. Yeah, exactly. So I had a lot of fun with these. And then I'll just show you the, uh, the final look. <laughs> there they are. Beautiful. So who ate all of these? Uh, my husband took them to work. Oh, wow. Yeah. So they ate them? Yes. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. So that was a lot of fun. Thank you, Wendy, again, for suggesting something a little different this time. I don't even know what they're called. Uh, the big, huge cookie numbers with the filling in between and the decorations. Mm. I, um, I did something like that years ago. It wasn't a number. It was a monstera leaf. I cut out a large monstera, uh, sorry, leaf um, uh, out of the cookie. And then I, I did a lot of decorations. Why um, did you have a question about those? They're really fun to make. They're less fun to cut <laughs> mm -hmm. unless you use, I, for those, I would recommend using a cookie dough that is on a softer side, maybe like the soft cookie dough, soft um, uh, sour cream cookie dough that I have. Mm. Um, but then if the cookie is too big, then you're, with, with being it's a little softer, you might have to handle it a little differently so it doesn't accidentally break. Otherwise, um, yeah, it, they're 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 fun. They're fun to make. I don't know if you are you planning on making making some. She but just asked how how do you, how long would you bake them for? Oh, the the cookies. Well, it depends on the size. Obviously, mm. it depends on the size. If you're making a I don't know twenty inch, I, I don't know how big you want to make them. So you have to adjust the size. I would probably poke some holes in them. So they don't, you know, they don't have bubbles and stuff with, with such a large uh, cookie, but it depends on the size. Maybe one on one baking sheet, or if you want to do two on one, one uh, depends. I would start um, 10, 15, 10, 11 minutes, and then look at them if you see. I would go probably a little longer, just because if you're adding whipped cream or something, it will see yeah. the cookie. So maybe a little crispier. Oh, yes, the meringue sweater. I remember. Um, Kathy, do you refrigerate the berries? Yes. Oh, um, so I did, I refrigerated them overnight, and then the next day they were totally fine. But that's all you're going to get out of them. Like maybe another, another day they would have lasted, but put them in the fridge. Mm -hmm. Um, when, if you're going to keep them, I mean, if you're serving them like later that day, just leave them out, you know, cause the chocolate is, it's not going anywhere unless it's like a super hot day. Thank you, Kim, for the suggestion. You just gave me a <laughs> yeah. in my head now. It's like, going, it's there. Yeah, love <laughs> suggestions. It really like Thank inspires you. us. Yeah, I love that idea. I mean, we I sometimes forget what's out there, you know. Um, do we have any any last questions? Do you ever use buttercream? Yes, yes, yeah. I I do use buttercream. Do you use buttercream? I do. Yeah, that's another thing that I find a little bit hard to work with. Like I'm just not used to it, you know. Like 
I just know royal icing so well that if I work with something else, it's a little bit harder for me to do. But I do love buttercream because it's so delicious. I like and faster, and I find it faster to, to work with. And if you refrigerate it, you can also do some stenciling. Yeah. And that you can also with buttercream, although it's not like royal, but you can create transfers with buttercream, and I've done that in the past. I mm -hmm. can do mm -hmm. yeah, special transfers or just pipe transfers, stick them in the fridge, and then you can pop them on your individual cookies. It's really fun. So maybe we will do some buttercream um, decorating also in the future. We just yeah. have love when you give us your suggestions. Jeremy's asking about the silver. The YouTube play button. You, where's yours? Mine, mine is here. Oh, you can see, can see it. it. You can see it. Oh, it's, it's there. There's our matching YouTube <laughs> play button. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so, yeah, matching. Oh, yours is behind you as well. Yes. <laughs> so, yes, we both of us are on YouTube. Amber is very close to. One million, I would say, right? A couple hundred. I wouldn't take, I mean, oh, oh, cl well, you know what I mean. Really close. <laughs> it's going to be a while, but. It's really close, but it's, you, you, you're headed that direction, so. Yeah. Maybe uh, I'll get another button. Yeah, that would be fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. Yes, so maybe, but, okay, do you use the buttercream that gets stiff? I, I do use buttercream. I created a like a hybrid buttercream. Mm. I use it for, for cookies and it hardens. Um, yeah, so maybe I'll use that. A I vegan episode, that's a great idea, yeah. Actually, funny, funny that you, you say vegan. So yesterday I went to the, uh, sorry, I interrupted you again. <laughs> I went to the store here in Spain. They don't have like, there's no Michaels, you know, and I'm all <laughs> sad, you know, you don't see the tears, but I, I'm crying. There's no Michaels. And so we, we went to, a, it's like a home decor store. And what do you know? I'm like, I'm just like browsing through the aisles and I'm like, what's that? And they had, <laughs> they had food oh, covers. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, you know, I was around with them. them. And actually these are suitable for vegans and vegetarians, these brands. Nice. This is Progel. So I bought, they had the they had um, pastel wine. Oh, nice! I didn't get that, but I'm, mm -hmm. I might, I might go there back, back, uh, back there. And that sounds it. like a fun store. So they had um, these, and I also bought uh, because uh, I don't have you know unicorns in my life. So I bought some unicorn cutters, and th this set came with like everything with the uh, with the the mother and the child. <laughs> I actually bought it because of the mini. <laughs> I have to say, that's how ridiculous I am. I don't know when I will be using these, but um, yeah, so maybe we will do the vegan vegan one. That that should be, yeah, do the aquafaba royal icing, vegan cookies, and um, yeah, I know there is a huge uh, market for that and interest in, in that, especially now with the eggs being so expensive, right? I know. Okay. Oh, wow. So you're not that far off. Not that far. It just like, you know, it, on, the very beginning, it's like this and then it's like, so it'll, it'll take yeah, a little while. Yeah, I've been, I've been there. I've been trying to pass the, pass the and mark. There's yours, 447, Camille says. Oh, is it? Okay. Thank you. Yeah. We've been at it for a while. So we try to come 10 up with years. It. Let's see. I would like to see a session all about how to use dehydrator for dry and relaxing on cookies. Now, I think, do you have dehydrator? Um, No. Yeah, I don't have dehydrator. I actually use my oven as my dehydrator. I have to me say, too. it has been working really well for me. I set it to the lowest temperature. I keep the oven door ajar um, and it's it's working. It just, I think, depends on uh, what kind of settings do you have in your oven. I have a fan setting with the heat. Which is, and you can keep your fan on when the door is open? Yes. Well, not a, just a jar. If, if oh, I, okay. If I op fully open them, it's stuck. But if I just um, keep them a jar, I put a, um, a kitchen towel there. Or you can use oh. 
a wooden spoon or something to just keep them. Maybe it's like maybe this it just um, allows the moisture to escape. Yes. You know, from the from the oven. So I use my oven. I don't have a dehydrator. But we can, I think Marlin has a dehydrator and we can, um, she can maybe um, give some pointers about um, using dehydrator. Mm -hmm. Who does have enough unicorns in? <laughs> Clearly, I don't. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Jeremy. All right, everyone. Oh, thanks, Jay. What's your, okay, last question. What's your favorite cookie size? Uh, three inches is my favorite cookie three size. Three Maybe three, three, three and a half. Three inches, yeah. Mine too. Three, yeah, exactly. That's a that's a good um, eating size. I also like this size. This is maybe one and a half. I think maybe one, no, maybe or maybe two. This is maybe two inches. Mm -hmm. This is like a, but I do prefer also about around three inches. Yeah. As for the cookies, yeah, because it's a it's a good size for individual. Like it's not too big. Better go. Thank you. And good luck. Thanks for watching, Camille. How do you organize all your supplies? How do you organize all your supplies? Um, I don't. The only <laughs> thing. <laughs> now I was not expecting that. <laughs> no, I have like I've got like little containers here and there, but it's not like behind you know behind you. You've got it all like your scissors are in one place, and you've got all your little. That's an illusion. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's an illusion. Yeah. <laughs> no, I do. I ever since we moved and I have my studio, I I've been trying really hard to keep everything. I actually reorganized a couple weeks ago, um, and and because um, I never had that, so it was I always had everything in not in boxes, and I had to go get it. Now I can actually. I'm like, well. Mm -hmm. Can actually have it out, so I don't like I, because I use it. I don't have to put it away all the time, so right. I, I have I have things out. But I do have everything in boxes. Well, here my cutters are all stored in boxes because we have here in we are in coastal town, so you have salt air, and salt air I find it's uh, even more harmful than moisture because in Pennsylvania everything mm -hmm. we are so humid, and I really didn't have as much trouble with cutters rusting as with salt. Air. So I have everything in um, in containers. In air that containers, and it's organized by category. If you if you follow me on Instagram, I do believe I shared a story. Maybe it's in my highlights, but I might uh, we might do something like that to show you how I. I mean, I have a lot of cutters. It's it's like behind me there. Yeah. They're all in bins categorized. Let's say hearts. I have like three bins full of hearts because <laughs> I never have enough hearts. You know. Like, Right. I feel no. like you have a lot more cutters than I do. Well, I think you you are uh, probably um, not as obsessed, maybe with. Yeah, I don't like. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not like buying. Them. You don't need you don't need fifty different cutters for hard cutters. You just need a couple. I mean, there are lots of people you love. Just stick with it and protect it with everything you have. Right. <laughs> And then I have lots of school cutters. Then I have transportation where I have cars and trains and, and uh, planes and all that. Then you have maybe uh, I have birthday. So I have cakes there, candles and all mm. these cutters. I have a whole set of just snowman cutters. You know, you can really um, um, do that. Um, you can divide them in categories. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here, everyone. We're going to wrap it up. Thanks for awesome, awesome lesson on how to make strawberries and for all the tips and also for all your tips, guys. We will yes, be back next thing. I believe you are with me actually next week. I am? I I, I think I'm like, I'm 90% sure. Let's see. Uh, let me just double check because I, I think you are with me. I think. Okay, let's see. Schedule. Sorry, guys. We are so next week. It's yes, it's you. Yes, it's it's. Oh. Okay. So we will we will be back. Amber and I will be back next week on February on February fourteenth, Valentine's Day. So uh, stay tuned and follow us on Instagram and uh, everywhere, YouTube and uh, Facebook, so you guys get um, 
see what we are doing, what's happening, and um, do you have your calendar posted? I think, did Mar put it somewhere? I think it's posted in Marlin's coffee shop. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. But like I said, um, every can... Tuesday, one of us will be here. Yeah, every Tuesday at 1 a.m. Yeah, we will We will let you know about the um, March 1st. Anyway, so let's, let's wrap it up. We're just wrapping Okay. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Have a great week. See you next Tuesday. Bye.